Welcome back. After Toronto's housing prices dipped ever so slightly in March, the trend continues back on the upswing. The latest report from Remax saying that nearly all 65 neighborhoods on their watch list saw a pricing increase. So what does this mean for you? We are joined this morning by Remax's Executive Vice President and Regional Director, Christopher Alexander. Good morning to you, Christopher. Good morning. I think, you know, some of these numbers might be a little bit surprising for those who are buying, those who are selling. What does this mean for everyone and for the market right now overall? Well, the real story is, as you mentioned, Melanie, almost 95% of districts on the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board saw price appreciation from January to June in the detached sector uh, over last year. And 60% um, uh, on the 416 saw double digit increases. 50% in the 905 saw double digit increases. And really the story is supply and demand. Um, there is an abundance of buyers that um, are looking for more space. Detached homes are still the pinnacle of home ownership. And there just isn't enough to uh, sustain the amount of demand that we're seeing in the marketplace right now. No doubt the inventory when we're looking at it. I mean, in fact, I have a lot of friends who are searching for places right now. And, and I think this pandemic has done different things for people, you know, looking for more space, as you mentioned, when we're looking at the detached, uh, the detached homes. We were looking at a graph there uh, when it comes to some of the pricing. So let's break down some of the neighborhoods and which areas are hot right now. Let's begin uh, Young St. Clair, the Annex, Casa Loma, all of these areas. Why? Um, they're just very desirable neighborhoods. The houses are a little bit larger on average, and you have access to so much. I mean, walkability is really important, especially uh, in today's world where um, people are trying to avoid public transit and, and tight, uh, tightly enclosed spaces. So um, all of these desirable neighborhoods that were showing gains pre-pandemic are performing extremely well. Mm -hmm. You mentioned something there about transit. Are people looking to get um, get away from transit? Usually, you sort of look to be on the line, or, or did you? Sorry, I, you cut out a little bit there. Well, I think uh, temporarily, um, as we're experiencing, people are are really uh, putting their safety uh, in high regard, and many companies, as as we've experienced or are experiencing, are moving away from. Um, you know, in office work and, and have pushed towards a more remote environment. So transit isn't as important as it once was. However, um, once things uh, do get back to normal, hopefully uh, in short order or in the next couple of years, once a vaccine is developed, uh, you know, we will start to see transit becoming as important as ever again. Sure. This, the, this pandemic has really shifted the way a lot of people view where they live, how they live, of course. Um, the Bridal Path, the only 416 neighborhood, uh, this is interesting to see an increase in housing sales. So really, what does that mean for, for the market in general? What does that say if the Bridal Path is the only one seeing that uh, major increase in sales? Well, the, the super premium end of the market um, was you know, impacted the greatest uh, in, the, in the initial shutdown phase of the pandemic. Um, that market literally came to a stop. Um, so there was a little bit more inventory that people could work with. And that's really a correlation between uh, sales and inventory. If there's not enough homes for sale, um, you're going to have lower sales numbers. Uh, I, but on the, other, on the other side of that is... Sir, go ahead, Melanie. I, I, I was actually going to say, when you look to the other side with the, with the condo market, uh, how does that play in for anyone who's looking to get in there? Well, the condo market is a totally different story. Um, you know, that's largely been a market driven by supply and demand uh, and immigration and migration. Uh, you know, the GTA was attracting about 100,000 uh, new residents every single year. Um, obviously, with uh, border closures uh, between provinces and even, um, you know, between countries, it's been difficult for people to come into the area. Um, plus, the short-term rental market was severely impacted as well. So, a lot more inventory for buyers to choose from, uh, and we're just kind of teetering on the balanced market uh, sector. In, in condos right now, and we see it could probably end up a buyer's market come the fall. So uh, if you're looking to get into the condo market right now is a you know, great time because prices are going the opposite direction of mm -hmm. the detached sector. 
Christopher, a lot of information here. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Well, thanks for having me. Happy to be here. All right. Have a good day.